Okay, so um, good morning. This is going to be a really quick demonstration of um, just building sort of website and a simple inventory system in JavaScript. Now, I'm not going to go through best best practices. This is a teaching thing, so it's not necessarily the best way to do it. I'm trying to introduce some concepts, like lists, dictionaries, data types, those sort of things, and just how to use them. And I'm also going to be introducing some um, JavaScript and browser interaction things. So the website that we're going to use is just this home page. I've got some CSS animation that moves that down. I've got some image and that. Um, and this inventory demo is where I'm going to actually have something happen. So to start off with, I'm not going to have anything displaying on the screen except for um, I'm going to have a little debug panel. That's going to show us everything we might, and we'll use that and the console. Um, and then later on, we'll have buttons to do things, and then we'll move into sprites and things like that. Um, so, this is part one. So, the basic setup is a, a Dreamweaver website. Dreamweaver is not necessarily the best way to um, edit um, JavaScript and things like that, but it's what we're working with and we're going to use it. So I've put in um, sort of a style sheet. Um, so my main page, I've got um, style sheet um, here, main.css. And in that I've defined um, sort of this navigation bar, this and how these things work. Um, so this is the navigation got a header which is the um, demo text animation plus the background the banner and then the content of our home page um, the main.css um, we've got all this and we've got this thing called a debug console I might give it a background color um, just so that it stands out a bit and then I'm, I don't know, I'm liking dark blues for a um, for some reason, um, RGBA, um, and I'll give it a color of Alice Blue, just because I can. Um, and I might make font size 10 px. So again, not best practice, just trying to display is none at the moment. Um, and we're going to control that in our scripts. Now in our scripts, I've got um, P5 because we're going to use that later on for maybe some collision detection and sprite management. Um, really complicated file. You, um, if you, it's a library that we get, um, so you do not need to worry about this at the moment. It, um, it is processing five JavaScript file, so um, it's all about doing um, user interaction, putting stuff on the screen, and all that sort of. Thing. Um, we also, in that, we're also going to use the Collide 2D and our Play. Those are additional libraries, part of P5, um, we are going to use. So I've got them all there, and I've also got our main.js. Now, if you look here, we have got in our inventory, this is the style sheet that we're going, the HTML page that we're going to use. Down the bottom, I have, below the debug console, um, I have got all these JavaScript files. So we include the P5, the Collide 2D, and oops, this should be the Play. So, and then our file. So by including our main one last, we'll be able to access all these things here. And by including these at the bottom of the page, they will actually, the JavaScript will actually run after the page has loaded. Now there are libraries like um, jQuery that manage that for you, but um, we're going to try and stick to native JavaScript um, in terms of um, doing things um, just because we can. So the content area, we might display stuff there, and we've got the debug console. Um, in Dreamweaver, you can see source code is the HTML file, so inventory. So I'll actually close these for now, those ones. So inventory.html, got your main CSS, P5 we don't need to worry about, Collide2D, play.js don't need to worry about. Um, they are large files and they do actually um, 
take a while to sort of, like if you have a squeeze through them, they're actually quite large. We should get the minified version of that when we go to um, put this out there. So our main.js is our main. So um, what we're actually going to build is a simplified inventory system. Now as a class, we sort of um, brainstormed our inventory is going to have some actions. We're going to have pick up, um, we're going to have drop items, sell items, buy items, so we'll have a few other bits and pieces there. And it features, so actions will become functions of it or methods. Um, we're not going to use classes, we're going to do, um, we're going to sort of do procedural and functional. Um, and our features are going to be, our inventory is going to have a maximum weight, maximum size, maximum item. That also means we have to track our current weight, size, and all that sort of stuff. An item is going to have a name, weight, size, description, category, buff, and debuff. So, and the categories are just going to be equipable and usable. We're trying to keep it fairly, fairly simple. Now, I started off um, doing, putting some stuff onto JS Fiddle, but I decided that um, we're going to start to get a little bit more individualized. So Dreamweaver is what we're doing on our computers. You can continue to do this in JS Fiddle, but eventually you will need to bring it down to your local computer and do something there. Um, to start off with, I'm going to create some, an inventory as a um, array. Um, and it's just going to be a, um, you can think of an array as a list of things. And in our case, it's going to be a list of items. Now, an item, um, well, an array has various features. Like we put things in it using the push and we take things out using the remove or the pop. And I'm going to show where you can find out all these, um, how to do this. So that's a, an array. And to um, display every item in the array, we actually use a for loop um, to um, go over each array and use the data. And that's called iterate. Um, so we iterate over the loop. Um, to use each item in the loop. So we can use a while loop or other ones, but we're going to use a for loop for that one. Um, an item is going to be a dictionary. And a dictionary is a has a key and a value. And um, in the JS Fiddle I showed you how you can create a dictionary, so, and I'm going to go through that. Um, I'm going to try and keep these basic ones, uh, these things, fairly short so that you can watch one um, and you don't have to watch like 20 minutes and things like that. So um, now that, like, just getting the setup, I'm going to um, just quickly um, make sure everything works, display something on the screen and call it quits for this one. So it's gone for about eight minutes. So try and keep it under nine and a half minutes. So in this, my main.js, all I'm going to say is alert, and I'm going to say um, everything is working. Yay. And I end a JavaScript line with a semicolon. Notice the quotes, start and stop quotes, and notice the start and stop uh, brackets. So. I'm going to go back to my source code. I'm going to save everything. So Control S is your friend. I'm going to go back over here. Everything is working. So everything is working. Okay, so click on that. Everything is working. So that seems to be working. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my. Um, I'm going to go back to the screen recorder. I'm going to stop it for now, and I'm going to continue on with the second one very very soon.